Welcome to another step-by-step -step video tutorial on Google Classroom. Last time we learned how to invite students to join our Google Classroom. Today we're going to have a look at how to create and collect assignments. Without further ado, let's get into it. To create an assignment, go to Classwork and click Create Assignment. Give your assignment a title, type up instructions for your students, Select whether your assignment will be ungraded or graded. Select a due date for your assignment. We will talk about topics in another tutorial, so for now, just leave no topics. There are four kinds of supplementary materials that you can attach to your assignment. The first one is an attachment from your computer or a file. The second one is a file from your Google Drive. The third one is a YouTube video clip the fourth is a link to any resource found on the internet. For my assignment, I decided to use all four. To attach file from my computer, I'll click on the first icon, select files from your device, select a file, click open, click upload. Now my assignment has a picture that I attached from my computer. For a YouTube video clip, I found a clip on creativity that I would like my students to watch. Select the clip that you would like your students to watch and click Add. Now my assignment has a YouTube video clip, but I also have a TED talk that I would like my students to watch. So I will click on the fourth icon, copy and paste my link here. Click Add link. Finally, I would like my students to be able to reflect on all the materials they've watched. For this purposes, I've created a Google Doc, so I will click on the second icon and select a Google Doc that I've recently created for this assignment. Select the file from your Google Drive and click Add. One important thing you need to remember when assigning Google Docs to your classes is to select the appropriate sharing type. There are three types. Students can view the file, students can edit the file, and make a copy for each student. Let me briefly describe each one of them. If you select students can view the file, then students will only be able to view the Google Doc that you've connected. So in my case, it's not an option because I want them to actually write a reflection. Students can edit the file means that all students will be editing one file. It won't suit my purposes either because I want each individual student to write his or her own reflection. Third option seems to make more sense. Make a copy for each student. The Google Classroom will duplicate this assignment and make a separate copy for each student. That seems about right. Before you click Assign, there is still one more feature that we haven't talked about yet. Multiple assignments. If you are teaching more than one class, you can benefit from this feature. Multiple assignment basically means that you assign the same assignment to multiple classes. To do that, scroll up and click For and simply select the classes who you would like to assign this assignment to. So you can also select either all students or you can take individual students. Once you have done all that, you can either assign the assignment right away, schedule the assignment to be assigned later on, or save it as a draft and finalize it later. In my case, I will assign the assignment right away. Congratulations, you've just created your first assignment. Instructions, resources, and student count. It's important to understand what turned in and assigned means. Assigned means how many students have been assigned this assignment. Well, there are only two students in my class, so the number two is here. A turned in means how many students have completed and turned the assignment back in. This is what the assignment looks like from your end. But why don't we switch perspective and see what it looks like from students' end? Now, to do that, we're going to imagine that I'm now a student and I will log into the classroom, log into my Google Classroom and see what it looks like. Now, to do that, I will uh, open Google, I will log into my Google Classroom and select my Google Classroom. So when students open their Google Classroom, they immediately log into the stream, which is basically a news feed of what is happening and what is new. I can see here that a teacher posted a new assignment. I can also see upcoming due dates. So to open the assignments, I can either click on the assignment in my stream or I can go to classwork and select my assignment from here. I can see the assignment, name, instructions, all the resources. 
Well, my assignment is to write a reflection on the following topic, importance of creativity. Let's imagine that I've, I've accessed all these resources and now I'm ready to write my reflection. Well, to do that, open the Google Doc that a teacher has assigned to me previously. You can see from the screen that Google Classroom has created a separate document for me and name it accordingly. MS iPad 1 is technically the name of the account I'm using for this demonstration. This is my answer. Once a student is ready, it's important to turn the assignment back in. The turn in button is located in the top right corner. I'm going to click turn in. A Google Classroom is going to ask me, am I going to turn in this work? Yes, I'm going to turn in this work. That's it. My assignment has been submitted. Now let's jump back to the teacher's side to see what's changed. You can see from my screen that one student has been transmitted into turned in. Now I have one student who has been assigned the assignment but hasn't completed it yet, but I also have another student who has completed the assignment and turned it in. Because this assignment is graded, my job as a teacher now is to give this assignment a grade and return it to the student. To do that, click on turned in. This is a name of the student who has completed their assignment. Click on the assignment. As a teacher, you have a lot of features when it comes to grading. You can leave a comment, you can suggest new ideas, but this is a topic for another tutorial. Right now, we're just gonna uh, look at the assignment. Let's give the student 80 out of 100. Once you've done that, click return. Confirm your return. That's it. Your job as a teacher is done. You've assigned the work, you've marked, and return the work. Now let's jump back to student's view to see what's changed. As a student, I can now see my grade, 80 out of 100. There are many other useful features when it comes to grading students' work, but we will have a look at them in another tutorial. For today, that's enough. You've learned how to assign, collect, and return students' work. In our next video tutorial, we're going to have a look at how to assign quiz assignments via the Google Classroom. Until the next time, bye-bye.